What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the pop-up view feature on the Samsung Galaxy S8. I highly encourage you to check out the video I made on the split screen feature as both features complement each other and are easier to use if you are familiar with both features. Some of the stuff I say in this video will overlap what I say in the other video. This feature allows you to have multiple apps on the screen at once. There are only certain apps you can do this with. Usually apps like messaging and web browsing you can do this with, but you usually cannot do this with games and social media apps. If you try to put an app in pop-up view mode that isn't compatible with the feature, it will simply say, can't use this app in multi-window view. Now what you want to do is open the app that you want to put into pop-up view, pull up the navigation bar, click the recent apps button, and then hold down the app you want to put into pop-up view, and drag it to the blue square in the middle until the square expands and let go. Now that app is in pop-up view, you can move it around the screen wherever you want, and you can adjust the size of it by holding down an edge and pulling to the size you want. There is a minimum to how small you can make it. The smallest you can make it is like that, which is fairly small compared to the size of the screen. There are also a couple buttons here you can press. The X just closes the pop-up. If you close the pop-up by accident, it's no big deal since the app stays open in your recent apps. You can easily put it back in pop-up view without losing anything. So to demonstrate that, you just hit the X, it goes away, and then you can just re-hold it down and put it back into pop-up view. This button re-expands the app into full screen mode. And this button creates a little access circle that you can move around the screen and when you want to use it again, you just tap it. So there, I click that, I have a little access circle, I can move it wherever. And then when I want to use a pop-up again, I just click it and there it comes back. You can also have multiple apps in pop-up view at once and you can make them all circles or not. So let's just take the clock app we can do the same thing we did with Chrome, hold it down, put it in pop-up view, and now you see we have two. So what I can do is I can adjust the size of these so that way they both fit on the screen. So now if I want to make them both circles, I click both here. They both go into the same circle. I can still move them around the same way. So it only shows one circle, but you can tap it and it shows you all the apps you have in circles. So if I click this, it'll show me both apps. If you have a lot of apps and circles, it'll only show a few in this oval, but it will let you scroll left and right to access the others. And if you want to take it out of this view, you just hold it down, drag it up to the trash can, and remove. Now if you go to settings, and you type pop-up, the first option, you can toggle on this setting which allows you to put an app into pop-up view just by dragging diagonally from either corner so like this or like this and to demonstrate that if we go to Chrome and we pull down from this corner you see it forms a blue rectangle and if you let go Chrome is now in the pop-up view now although you can't physically put certain apps in pop-up view you can have any app in full screen view while pop-ups are active so if I take two apps here. I can put this one in the pop-up view and then this one will be in the background in full screen mode. The only downfall to this is you can only have one app really active at a time. You can see this little timer thing moving right here so if I click this you can see that it freezes and then it resumes again when I click on it. This doesn't happen with all apps some apps will still run properly in the background if you are actively using the pop-up. You can move the access circles around though without it affecting the app in the background. It just all depends on the specific apps you are using. So this feature is really useful if you are trying to multitask between two or more things. For example, if you are reading an article online and trying to text people, instead of constantly switching between the two apps, you can have the article in the background and have messages as a pop-up in the corner of the screen. So that pretty much sums up the pop-up view feature. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about the feature or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.